Welcome to a Smart Suite feature overview. Today, we're going to be going over pre filled forms. Now, pre filled forms are pretty self explanatory. They're just regular Smart Suite forms that are pre filled with certain information that is pertinent to the end user. So imagine you're sending out a form to one of your clients and you want that form to automatically link back to the client that you send it to. With pre filled forms, you can have this form automatically fill out the account that is linked and whatever other fields, like in this case, we have the type. And you can even hide these fields from the actual form so that all they see is upload file for the NDA and maybe a selection of the type. And on the back end, it is automatically linked back to the client. So for example, we have this button set up to have the custom link that fills in the information. And if we were to click on that for Amazon, which is a prospect, Amazon is automatically going to be filled in and the type is automatically going to be prospect. And then we can attach our NDA and submit. And then over in our NDA submissions, it'll automatically be linked. And this would be the same if we hid that linked record, which you can just do by going into here and then tapping this box. So how are we able to do this? Well. It's pretty simple. All we really have to do is change the URL of the form link. So as I'm sure most of you are familiar with, in order to share a form, you have to first check this box and then you have a link right here. And all you have to do is add things to the end of this URL in order to pre-fill some of these fields with certain information. So what I have in the accounts table is a formula that automatically pre-fills the information with the information from the attempt. So as you can see, the formula starts with just the basic link to the form. So let's follow along. This is just the regular basic link to the form followed by the expression question mark and then capitalized pre-fill and underscore. Now what that's doing is it's essentially taking the regular form link and adding a pre-fill of the parameter account. So essentially it's saying we want to pre-fill the account parameter with Amazon and we want to pre-fill the type with prospect. And inside of this formula, I just have a concat, which essentially combines text fields with the original form link, the question mark pre-fill, which essentially tells the URL to pre-fill, the account, which is the first parameter we're gonna change, followed by the account name. Now, as you can see, we have this encode URL component function. Now that essentially just takes whatever the account name is and outputs it in a way that is friendly with the browser. So if it's two words, rather than having a space, it's gonna put in different characters to make sure that the browser can comprehend the space in there. And then we're gonna follow that with an ampersand, which basically says we wanna prefill something else with the prefill underscore, and then now the type parameter with the encoded type. So that may seem like a lot, but when you have this formula, it does all of the heavy lifting for you. So now you can see all of these URLs are going to prefill with the information that's needed. So this one is going to prefill with Amazon Web Services as the linked record and vendor as the type. And we can test that just by using this URL in any browser. And there we go. And right now we have the linked record hidden, which just helps for more privacy. Now you might be thinking, what's the use case here? I see how this would be helpful, but how am I going to get these individual links to individual people? Well, first off, a really simple, easy way to do this is to create this button. Now the button field is a less commonly used field within SmartSuite, but it's personally one of my favorites. Essentially, it's just a button that can take you to a URL or it can be calculated with a formula, which is what we're going to do. So have the action be open URL. And then rather than having it be static URL, click URL formula. And then click this button, which is edit formula and paste in the formula that we decided to create in the other field. Now, what this is going to do is if we we're to click any of these buttons, it's going to automatically open in another tab the form with the pre-filled information. Now, what about if we want to automate this? Like we want to just be able to check a box and it automatically sends an email 
to the contact of the account asking them to submit the NDA with their specific information pre-filled. And we set that up with automation. So we have this yes, no field, which is going to trigger an automation up here. Essentially, when a record matches a condition, so this yes, no field is equal to yes, then we're going to send an email followed by a subject and a message that includes the formula, which is essentially just the link to the URL. So if we were to save this and check this box off, it'll send me an email automatically that will pre-fill all of the information with that of Amazon Web Services. Now, this may seem like a lot, but truthfully, pre-filled forms unlock the true potential of forms inside Smart Suite. So if you have additional questions about pre-filled forms, their uses, or unique use cases that you found with pre-filled forms, make sure to leave them down in the comments. I'm also going to leave a help article by my colleague, Brian, which goes into detail on how to use these URLs to make sure that you can pre-fill whatever information you need inside of the forms. Thank you guys so much for watching and keep on enjoying SmartSuite.